Hello, welcome to Art Snacks. Today we're going to do a drawing I like to call Habitat because I'm going to show different creatures living in one habitat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a curve that goes from here all the way back to here. Okay, start with that. And don't worry if it's exactly like mine, it doesn't have to be at all. Okay, now we're going to make a curve that goes down. And it's also going to go down this way. That's two different ways that it's going down. <laughs> now we're going to put a little dent in that curve right here. Now, just this way, we're going to come out and back, out and back. And then from the bottom of here, come out and around. Now let's double the thickness of this here. Right here, we're going to make a circle, which becomes an eye. Inside here, another little circle, a little curve. Okay, now back here, we're going to make a fin in here is a large mouth bass. Down here another one. And a big fat belly comes down to here. Okay, so he's curving around. His tail's going this way. And then the rest of his tail is here. Kind of like that. Okay. Now on his back is a dorsal fin. Kind of does this. And there's another fin behind that. Here. Down here there's just one more fin, which you can kind of barely see. Now his body's divided in half this way. From here up it's dark. See this is a little bit of texture. And his belly can have just a little bit. It's white, but it can have a little bit of shadow. Now his tail going this way, it's a little different because we're seeing the other part of his body as he turns. And this kind of comes out this way. His tail. Okay. He is in motion, this guy. This could be a girl or a boy fish, but one thing I think I know is that this fish looks like it might be hungry. Okay, now this is going to be an interesting drawing because we're going to see two things at once. We're going to divide the drawing with a line like this. This fish is coming out of the water. Okay, and back in the background we can see the other side of the pond back there. He's breaking through the top of the water here after something. But while we look at that, let's go ahead and do some stuff underneath. Here's a sandy hill here. There's another little sandy hill underwater. Okay, let's make a little branch here. It's growing up to the water. And see, refraction kind of makes the branch look like it's broken, but actually it looks it starts this way over here. This is an old branch sticking out of the water. Underneath, looks like that. A few little plants. In the background, another fish. Smaller fish. We don't have to do too many details on that fish because he's way over there. Some more. Plants, stuff growing. Just a little bit of that fish there. Okay. 
Now, let's make over here kind of like a log fell a long time ago. And that log sort of has become part of the habitat underwater here. And when it comes to the top of the water, it sort of comes through weird because it's at an angle. Right? And on that log, make a turtle. And he's kind of small. He's back here. Zoom in just a little bit. His legs. His head's kind of sticking up. He's on that log, and that log has texture above water, and it has texture below water. Darker on the bottom because light's coming from the top. Okay, now more is going on here. We're not quite done yet, but let's go ahead and make a little more habitat back here. Some cattails. So people might have to look hard to see the turtle. That's okay to let them discover things about your drawing as they go along. We still haven't gotten back to why that fish is coming out of the water. Let's go ahead and draw a piece of grass. It's growing just like this. Thicker on the bottom, thinner toward the top, and that's just one. Here's another one. Here's another one. On that piece of grass is... What is this? A dragonfly. And that's what that bass is after. He wants to eat that dragonfly. I'm not sure how the dragonfly feels about it. I'm not sure if he sees him coming. Now back here, make things just a little darker once we get past this hill, the sandy hill on the bottom. So it creates more of a three dimensional effect. Makes it seem like it gets deeper, the pond does, when it goes past there. Also, it gives me an excuse to let my bass stand out more. shading. In the background, one more animal is in this picture. One more creature. And it is taking off He's got places to be. He's got a dark head and a little ring right here. Another wing. A little duck. Just sort of saying, I've had enough of this place. He's taken off. Let's get a little value in the sky. And the top of the water. Some variations in it. Darker back here, lighter toward the front. Okay, that's my habitat picture with a few things in it. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. You can see the details. I think that bass's eye could use a little darker. See you next time.